So in this problem, we've got an airline deliberately overbooks its daily flight to Southampton because it knows from experience that not all passengers who book a flight actually arrives for that flight. Um, this is common practice, by the way. Uh, I, I've been caught out by this myself, um, where uh, um, I've gone for the, got to the gate, ready for the flight, and they said, oh, no, it's, uh, the flight's full. Uh, even though I've booked a ticket on that flight. So um, uh, the consequence is that the uh, airline company then um, would have to refund you. Um, and uh, in my case, they'd uh, put me up for the night in a hotel and go for the next flight the next morning. Um, so this is actually something that does happen. Um, it is assumed that each passenger arrives independently of the others. Now, that is probably contentious because, you know, what if it's a family of people, in which case it wouldn't be independent, they wouldn't be arriving independently. Uh, but for this case, we've got, we're going to assume that it is because we're only working with a small plane. Ten passengers have booked onto today's flight on an eight-seater plane. It is known from past records that the chance of any booked passenger arriving for a given flight is 0.35. Okay, so what we're dealing with is a binomial distribution where n is 10. We've got 10 passengers who either arrive or they don't arrive. So the probability of success of arriving is 0.35. Part A, what is the most likely number of passengers to arrive for the flight? Now, the way that you could work this out is unless your calculator is able to actually draw the distribution, which if you're using a NumWorks calculator, then it would be able to. Uh, for example, other graphical calculators would be able to, I expect. Um, on the Casio class whiz, which is what I'm using, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the list function. So um, I'm going to go to menu and then number seven for distribution. And then I'm going to go to binomial PD. OK, so I'm looking at PD, and then I'm going to go to the list. So you should get a uh, table with X and on the left-hand side, P on the right-hand side. So in the X column, I'm going, to, I'm going to put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <clears throat> then press equals. Put N as 10 and P as 0.35. And what it will do is it will populate the probabilities into the right-hand side of your table. Um, and what you're doing is looking for the largest probability, which probably unsurprisingly is going to be around about 3.5, 10 times 0.35. Okay, and you should find that it's the probability of x being equal to 3. So the most likely number of passengers to arrive is 3, which has a probability of 0.2522, etc. Okay, and that's the largest probability. Part B, how many passengers do you expect to arrive on average? Well, that is the mean of the distribution, or E of X, the expected value. So E of X is 10 times 0.35. So N times P, that's in the formula booklet. So 3.5 is what you would expect on average. C, what is the variance of the distribution? So the variance is calculated by doing n times p times 1 minus p, so 0.65. So 10 times 0.35 times 0.65. And we get 2.275. D, how many passengers must arrive for the plane to be full? Well, it's an eight-seater plane. So you either have eight turning up, or nine, or ten. <clears throat> so that's how many you would need for the plane to be full. So E, find the probability that the plane is full. So that would be the probability of X being greater than or equal to eight. Now, if you've got the Casio CG50 or the NumWorks, you could work that out directly. Uh, if you've got the class whiz like me, uh, I need to do one takeaway, the probability of x being less than or equal to 7. 
So menu number seven, scroll down to binomial CD, go to variable. I want the X as seven, uh, N is 10, and the probability is 0 0.35. We should get 0.99517873, etc. So that's 0 0.00, 0 .00 4821 2 etc. So 0.0048 to four decimal places. So just under half a percent. Um, so the idea here is that if the probability is 0 0.35, then if um, the plane is full, so that's eight or more, that's the probability. But if uh, nine or ten turn up, then that means that um, that means that you would need to then uh, say, okay, to those passengers, you're going to have to wait for the next flight. Um, in which case, you're probably going to have to reimburse uh, those customers. Now, the probability of that happening is going to be smaller than that. So it actually pays for the airline to do this, to overbook, because the likelihood of having to pay out is very small. Um, and if they do have to pay out, then they should be able to uh, you know, reimburse that, uh, but they won't have to do it that often.